All right, we're here with Jeremy and an Easy 3 HD recumbent trike. When we convert this trike, we use a heavy duty e-bike kit so you can have a direct drive motor up front here. This gives you a more durable motor that has no internal moving parts, uh, that has an over 300 pound weight limit. Uh, the bike itself has a high weight limit as well. Uh, th this motor is good to about 600 pounds. The bike is good to 350 pounds, I believe. And that's a little more durable than the geared performance kit that we normally use that tops out at 300 pounds. This is a very heavy duty bike. When we're mounting the battery on this bike, we like to mount it to the water bottle bosses on the back of the seat. In order to do that, we use a special bracket that we make. You can see when we mount it with that special bracket, we drill uh, three, three holes in the back of the battery plate in order to mount it onto that bracket. And that gets the battery nice and centered. You see the plate has to be mounted off center in order to center the battery on the bike because the plate is slightly longer on this side then the battery is on this side. So mounting it off center gets it all lined up. That bracket we can sell you. We bend it out of flat stock. We can send you this drawing on how to bend it if you have a press brake. And, uh, we, but we, we can also just sell you the finished bracket for mounting to the water bottle bosses. You have some other options as well. You can use the same system that we use on the Eco Delta. You can see that in our video on the Eco Delta which is to use some L brackets and a battery plate in order to mount either a bag battery or an aluminum case battery down here. We like to put them on sideways, unlike the Eco Delta. The reason for that is the seat on the HD is narrower here and you can't really cram a battery between the seat very well. So we mount it sideways, drill a couple holes in the plate to match the L brackets. It's not so bad. For a less DIY solution, we've got the recumbent basket from JMB, which is good for the lighter 9 amp hour, 4.5 pound batteries. You can mount back there, throw the battery in its bag in the basket. Or you can also pick up our two tiered rack or a regular rack like the Axiom Journey rack, and you can mount those guys to the seat ears on the back of the bike and you point the rack struts way down and mount them to the front of the ears there. We don't do that a lot in the shop because you can see the basket sticks out a little bit. It looks a little weird on there since the uh, rack is meant for a regular bike, but it does work and you can mount a battery on top of it and it's very easy to do. There's no custom hardware needed. The other thing on this bike is the pedal assist. When we mount the pedal assist, we have to mount it on the left hand side when we're using our ring type TDH sensor. We do another direct mounting here where we drill and tap the frame to mount the sensor directly on the left side. That's because there's no room on the right side here for a ring or a sensor. In the kit though, if you want to do it the simplest way, you'll use our regular e-bike kit sensor. And this guy just sticks onto the frame with its adhesive back. It zip ties in place. And then the split magnet pops on without having to remove the cranks or the bottom bracket. So it's easy to do at home. Mounts in just a minute. We have a video specifically for that. If you want a more professional look, you can use our modified bracket, which we can sell to you or we can give you the instructions for bending it at home on your press brake so that you can mount it directly to the bike, drill and tap the frame. But again, you have to use <clears throat> a special sensor. You have to take apart the bottom bracket and the cranks and drill and tap the frame. So that's a lot of work. So most people will use the regular sensor that we send with the kit and add an extension cable to it to give you some extra length. 
to get to the front of the bike. The next part is the screen. We'll mount the screen on a Topeak bar extender on the handlebars and we'll use some extra long M4 by 30 millimeter screws. That lets us put the screen out of the way down here on the handlebars. With the bar extender you can also, if you choose to, mount the screen up front. If you're doing that you need to keep in mind that it makes it a little harder to get on and off the bike. So we, we prefer to mount it on the handlebars. But if you have an extra wide bottom, it may get in the way down on the handlebars instead. If you're doing that, you'll need extension cables to connect the button from the screen all the way back to the handlebars, which takes two extension cables here. You'll see when we run the wiring, it's mostly tucked under the boom tube here. We bundle up the extra wire and put it under the suspension linkage at the bottom of the frame. And we mount the controller with zip ties because you have this extra large tube back here. You have to zip tie it on. The clamps aren't big enough. Zip tie the controller on down here where the cables split and run the power wire up. When you're mounting the throttle and the e-brakes, you'll notice that this bike has two rear brakes and they use a BMX style brake splitter. We don't have an e-brake that can pull two cables at once, so you'll want to use the regular brake that comes with the bike and only mount your locking e-brake on the left hand for the front wheels brake. And then when you're all done, you've got a finished looking bike with a secure battery mount. So this is the Easy 3 HD SX. If you have any questions, let us know. We can share our notes with you and sell you the little brackets you need and answer any questions you might have.